Before a crew even installs solar panels on a roof, a prospective solar rooftop often looks like this, a blue box on a computer screen. So it's very good for having precision if the user knows exactly what the dimensions are. But it's not good for speed, it's not good for automating the process, and it's not good for having non-engineers using this. In our software, you start from that Google map, the same thing that the salesperson wants to start with. What building am I looking at? Well, again, whether it's a residential or a commercial building. Um, and then they're going to sketch out the workable area. Helioscope uses satellite and weather data to predict a structure's sunlight exposure, allowing the designer to position the solar panels to take full advantage of available sunlight even when the panels are in shadow. If I can get 95% of the productivity out of those modules, it's absolutely worth it to incorporate those modules into the system. So people are basically building bigger solar arrays, they're getting closer to the shading, but they're doing it intelligently because they can use this tool to, to understand exactly the economic impact. Solar analyst MJ Shao says ever since solar panel prices dropped, industry innovation has focused on bringing down the cost of installation. As the industry focuses more and more on that, we can see another 30 to 40 percent of costs being pulled out of a solar that's being installed on the roof or again in these large solar farms. In fact, since the solar powered calculator was invented back in the 1970s, the industry has prioritized innovation on solar panels over solar powered consumer gadgets. But that could be changing. A company called SunPower is partnering with Kyocera to develop a solar powered smartphone. But the technology is still in the early stages. It takes three minutes of sunlight to get one minute of talk time. Even developing a solar-powered smartwatch has proved to be challenging. SunPower is also trying to bring that to market. Because of where solar, uh, solar cell efficiencies are today, it's not a, necessarily a great fit for a lot of the consumable products that we have on the market today. Do you think it'll get there? It could. I mean, we're going to have to put a lot more into research and development in order to see that happen. There has to be a, a significant jump in either the efficiency of solar cells or a significant lowering of the energy that these consumables take. Meantime, Paul Grana says Helioscope's business is growing 10 percent a month. His next goal, to integrate the system design tool with software that helps run the overall solar business more efficiently. When all that team is using the same product, in different ways, that's when you can really unlock incredible savings and really speed benefits. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Scottsdale, Arizona.